KPI from the beginning. So, what do you think of my project, Mr. Scott? I think it's a great idea, Elizabeth. Can I call you Betty? Hmm? <laughs> Why even ask? Huh? Um. What are you doing? Sit down. I have to go. Um. I told you everything, and I don't want to waste your time. Okay. Sit down. Now. That's good. Now, Betty, can I ask you a question? Simple question. Mm -hmm. Do you want this project to uh, to appeal to investors? Hmm? Yes, sir. And uh, you do realize that I'm a very serious and uh, powerful man, don't you? Yes, sir. Oh, Betty, 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 Betty. You've got so much potential, Betty. But you know, this project, this project's gonna take a lot of time, energy, effort, care. I'm sure you'll find a way to thank me. No, I'm not. Sorry. Come on, Betty. <laughs> oh. We have carefully reviewed your complaint and regret to inform you it was not accepted for consideration. Have a nice day. Have, have a nice day? No. No, I assure you read it closely. Mr. Scott harassed me. You're responsible for the employers, for our safety. How could you ignore my complaint? Yes, we read it closely. Goodbye, Miss Carter. No way. I'm not going back to work. These men harassed me and must be punched. Then give me your letter of resignation. You think you are the only one? You think you are special? I have a closet full of papers like this. And you know what I call it? A waste of time. Because the end is always the same. Your word against his. And trust me, sweetie. You're not gonna win this game. So, you have two choices. Either go back to work, or leave and kindly spare me that long suffering look on your face. Dismissed. Yeah, and then I say, listen, I can't do that. I didn't bring a spoon. <laughs> Oh, listen, Mr. Evans, I got a million more better ideas than I have jokes. Great, talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, hey everybody, can I have your attention, please? Listen up, listen up. I just got off the phone with our top investor, and he's willing to listen to our project pitches tomorrow. That means mountains of money for us. Woohoo! I'm gonna pitch the best ideas to him tomorrow. So give yourselves a huge round of applause. You deserve it. Right, that's enough. Listen, let's get to work and let's do this. Hey, Betty. Listen, uh, I'm ready to present Mr. Evans your, your project idea tomorrow. But um, it's gonna mean that uh, we stay a bit late tonight and, and uh, make some changes, some edits, you know, target goals, dynamics, that sort of stuff. Hmm? Great. What's with this recruitment ambassador? If 
I won't leave in five minutes for lunch and we'll eat all tuna sandwiches. Oh, those are my favorite. Really? Yeah. Girls, he harassed me. I know what happened in the office. I understand I'm not the first person who come in with a complaint. Which means you understand how I feel. Girls, we need to help each other. Something has to be done about it. Betty. The only thing that we can do in this situation is pretending like nothing happened. That's what I did and that's what I advise you to do. Look, who needs problems here? This is a man's world and the one voice is not enough to get us hurt. I understand why you guys hurt us here and we felt absolutely the same at first, but it getting easier, Sam. So, who is with me for tuna? Mm? Yeah. No! You're right. One voice is not enough. Yes, but each of us has something to say. Aren't you tired to be afraid? Afraid to come to work? Afraid to speak your mind? Afraid to declare your exist? We have to put aside your fear and make a move. Who is ready to do it with me? Who is ready to get rid of your fear? And get injustice. Okay. Let's crush the script. Stay late with me and do some changes, huh? Oh, that's such a bright future for you. I can tell. Yes, sir. Like you said, I checked the sales and um, regarding um, services. Yeah, I'm services. I'm really interested in services. Betty, what can you offer me? Standard precision and uh, the services are provided operation determines. Betty. I'm here to discuss my project. Nothing more. Stay back. I'm gonna scream. I love when women scream. Scream. <laughs> oh, I like when girls scream. I do. Betty, my Betty. Beautiful Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Evans, what brings you here? This? I can explain everything. Are you serious? You expecting me to shake your hand after that display? What's happening here? Uh, okay. All right, you have it your way. Get out of here. This is my company, my business. You're private property. Get out of here now. Oh, Ethan, you've always been a good joker. Private property? This is a publicly owned company. And I own the most of the shares. So keep your threats to yourself. Frankly speaking, I was first skeptical when your employee suggested to reschedule for tonight. No, 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 no. I'm actually glad I came. 
I'm really glad I saw everything. Can't prove anything. You're finished here. They set me up. It's all these girls. They set me up. You're I'm innocent. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Without me, you're nothing. This is my company. Without me, you're all unemployed. You hear that, girl? Who called the cops? What the, what's the cops doing? Who called the cops? Girls, we did it. Oh, yes. You were right, Beth. Better to be unemployed than live in constant fear. By the way, ladies, about that, um, I've been planning to expand the staff in my company, and I would like to see your projects. What do you say? <laughs> of course, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, really nice. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm Summer and I'm a cook and I would like to take a loan from your bank. Here, try this. This is samosa, a traditional Indian snack. Put it away, I said. I'm not gonna eat out of dirty hands, okay? You're not gonna have a penny out of this bank. So I advise you to pack your things and go back home before every vacancy for an elephant janitor is taken, you got me? 